There was a lady by the name of Joanne. She and her husband were fine Christian people, hosted a home Bible study, and one time she kind of scratched her head after everybody left, and she said to her husband, Ted, why is it that everybody's always talking about all these opportunities they have to share their faith? Am I just that naive and blind? I, I mean, am I a social mutant that I just don't ever come in contact with people that need to hear about God? And he said, well, maybe you need to pray about it. So she began to pray, Lord, give me opportunity. Let me speak of my faith. Use me to, to give my testimony and my witness to others. That week as she went to her hairdresser, she was really surprised because her hairdresser, who she had known for quite a while, but they never really talked about personal things, her hairdresser said to her, Joanne, you and Ted host a home Bible study, don't you? You've talked about it before. And she said, yes. She said, do you think my husband and I could come sometime? And she said, well, absolutely. She said, I should probably tell you a little bit about our relationship so you understand when we get there. You see, I was in and out of foster care until 14, and I just ran away. And I just kind of lived life on my own. And by the time I was 16, I was drinking. I could outdrink any guy. I got pregnant. I gave the child up for adoption, but I didn't learn. And I just kept living wildly and drinking. And by the time I was 18, I had my second child. I gave that one up for adoption. And drinking was all that I could ever think about. And especially to be able to outdrink men. I thought that was so impressive. I got married at 21, and that's all he and I did was drink. And about a year later, we were divorced. I got married again at 23. We divorced shortly after that. And I came to understand that if I continued to live like this, my life was just a downhill disaster. Somebody talked me into going to AA, and I went there. But I've always hated God. And so there was no way I was going to acknowledge God, and even to say he was a higher power was too close for me. So I just said, okay, my confidence is going to be in Ralph. I don't know who Ralph is or why I even chose that name. And I started thinking, you know, I created my own denomination. I was a denomination of one, worshiping Ralphism. One day at AA, a drunk came stumbling in, and this guy was a mess. Unshaven, unkempt. He had vomit all over him. And he just fell down and began to cry and say, I'm a drunk and I need help. Somebody please help me. And one of our leaders said, we'll be more than happy to help you, but we kind of do this on a personal basis. So could you tell us your name? He said, my name is Ralph. She said, I thought God was going to be a little more attractive than that. She said, I sat and talked to Ralph for a long time afterwards. And we continued to talk. And he became sober. And we developed a relationship when we were eventually married. We haven't been married that long. And last month, Ralph said to me, Would you do me a favor? Would you show me how I can find God? She said, I started thinking, that's my responsibility in life. That's really why I'm here. That's my purpose. I need to help people find God. And I'm not sure I've found Him myself. So I want to come to your Bible study. And Ralph wants to come to your Bible study so we can know more about God, so we can serve Him and honor Him. Because I just want more and more people to find God, and I figure if they're going to find Him, they're going to have to find them, Him in the way that we live. A wife of noble character, where do you find her? 
in the book. She's staying close to God because she wants others to find God through her. And the way they're going to find God through her is by her life of service. And in her life of service, others are going to be so impressed and so enamored and so excited that they're going to rise up and praise her and they're going to bless her and they're going to honor her. And the relationship is going to continue to grow and grow closer and closer together through the service and through the honor and praise. Just look at the example of Jesus. He prayed in sweat blood, Father, I'm here to do your will. And the will of God is that he would offer his life at Calvary's cross. And all the while he is doing the will of his Father, he looks down and gives praise to his mother. And he says, John, I'm going to be leaving soon. So I want you to take care of this lady like she's your mother. And mother... Our relationship's going to be different from here on out. So I want you to honor John as your son. Doing the will of God. All the while honoring those around us. That's the kind of relationships that God wants us to be involved in. Do His will. And honor those by the book. A family with three young boys hired a new nanny. Her name was Mrs. Durango. She observed the boys for a week and then got together and said, I'm going to have just one rule. This is it. Every time you come in the house, the shoes come off because I don't think I have to clean carpets and kitchens just because your feet are dirty. But I do not want the shoes by the door. They're outside in the garage. And so are the bats, and so are the frisbees, and so are the skateboards, and so are the coats, and so are the hats. People should be able to get in, and they should be able to go out. There should be access. This hallway doesn't need to be cluttered. If you fail to do that, I'm going to take all these belongings and they're going out on the lawn and they'll remain there for a week to show the neighborhood what kind of boys you are. Everything was agreed. But the next day, the hallway was still cluttered. Mrs. Durango was a lady of grace, so she waited. The next day, nothing improved. And finally, she told the parents she was acting out on her threat, then the third day, everything in that hallway went out on the lawn and stayed there for a week. She went by the book. And my friends, you and I need to go by the book if we're going to allow God to have access into our life and if we're going to get into His. Way too many times there's a host of clutter laying all around us because of the ways of selfishness of this world, and we've got to throw that away. We've got to throw it out in the yard and free ourselves to get to God and allow Him access to us. A wife of noble character, where do you find her? In the book. Learning the example of God to carry it out in her life. And as she exemplifies God in her life of service, those around her can't help but raise up and call her blessed and honor her by the book. Amen. The peace of God was passed all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus even unto life everlasting. Amen. We confess our faith in our loving and gracious God as we say together the words of the Nicene Creed.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again, according to the scriptures, and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets. And I believe one holy Christian and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sin. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We honor our gracious God by returning to him his tithes and his offerings. <laughs> 